A lot of you know this firsthand and are probably still struggling. Daycare is getting more and more expensive. It's to the point that a lot of parents just plain can't afford to have their kids taken care of. I think it's certainly a discussion yeah. with most every family too. Blunt County looking into ways to offer more daycare options and the hope here for them is to bring that cost down. Our John Pierce reports. Finding a daycare for your child can be a tall task. I get posts every day asking about preschool availability, daycare availability, everything. It's crazy. Jenna Ray Tarallo is a mom of a six and one year old in Blunt County. She says even if you can get your child into daycare, it's incredibly expensive. I'm also considering just homeschooling him until he can start pre-K with the school system at four. A lot of parents are in the same boat. State data shows that infant care in Tennessee cost more than $800 a month in 2023. Blunt County is no different. Blunt Partnership is out with an early education task force to look into ways to expand access to child care because there isn't enough supply to meet the demand. We heard from members of our workforce that there were waits as long as eight months to a couple of years. Jessica Bullitt says they've been working with people interested in opening up daycare facilities, helping them go through the process. She says companies in the county have expressed interest in opening up centralized daycare facilities for those employees' kids. Working together as a consortium to have a child care that might provide child care services to multiple industries or multiple facilities. Billet says something like that would go in an industrial park or an easy access point in the community. Billitz also says that would help companies with hiring, since she says access to child care is one of the main barriers keeping people out of the workforce. In Blunt County, John Piersos, WVLT News. You can pay almost as much as you would pay for college for daycare these days, sometimes more. Parents can find a lot of resources to help them in the search for daycare, even ways to homeschool your young kids. We have a link to that in the WVLT News app.